Hello, my name is Michael, the president of Protective Cuttings of Georgia, manufacturer and distributor of the Protective Coat products. Uh, many of you have sent in questions and emails uh, wanting to know the exact process of, of how to go about cleaning and prepping and applying the product. And so I decided to make a short video today to uh, explain that process. This particular piece that we're going to be working with today came off of an old John Deere tractor. Um, I'm not even sure what part of the tractor. I uh, picked it up out of the scrap pile actually. Um, you can see that there's some paint and some rust issues. Um, so we're going to clean it up and get it ready to spray. The same process applies. It doesn't matter if it's a tractor, an RV, or whatever it is you're applying the coating to. So I'm just using some regular Dawn dish detergent and a scrub brush. Um, and you just want to clean it well, get all the dirt off of it, all the grease, and uh, all the other contaminants. So here's the piece that I cleaned, and now it's dry. Um, in the cleaning process, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a tractor, an RV, uh, your patio furniture, whatever it is, um, we usually just clean it with Dawn dish detergent and um, some water and uh, let it dry. That's it. So here's the piece that we're going to coat. Um, I've got half of it taped off because uh, I'm making a sample out of it and I want you to see the difference in what it looks like before and after. I'm going to start by just putting a light coat on top of it. And then I'll get a little heavier. Uh, you don't want to go too heavy all at one time. Um, if you do, the, the product will become too thick and run just like a spray paint would. Um, but that's basically all there is to it. Now that I've taken the tape off and the uh, paper that I had on there, you can clearly see uh, which side I've sprayed and which side hasn't been sprayed. Uh, the sprayed side has returned to its dark, uh, rich green color. Uh, you notice the rust is still on there. Uh, it's not a paint. It is a clear protective coating. Um, but it will also seal in the rust and keep it uh, from rusting further due to outside elements. And that's all there is to it. Uh, I've let this piece dry for probably 10 minutes. Um, we normally recommend that you let it finish curing for about 24 hours. Um, but it's done and ready to go. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please like us and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Protect the Coat and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.